What is going on everybody, Jaisor here, and today we are doing the solo nightmare guide for the manor. Now, unfortunately, I already beat solo nightmare on stream about a few days ago, if you missed that. Real quick, quick plug, I do stream on Twitch and on this YouTube channel, so if you do want to watch me live, links are in the description, and while you're down in the description, why not hit subscribe? But we're going to be going through that Twitch VOD, we're going to be going through stuff in game, and then I also want to show you guys the floor plan if some things are a little confusing. But without further ado, let's get started. Starting with the one thing that kills uh, almost everyone's run is right at the start, because you are forced to go into, I think, this portal. I don't know if this one spawns. It didn't spawn for me. I think the upstairs one spawns as well but whenever you do come through this portal you are met with this lump they call it and basically what it does is if you don't have uv you're screwed so a lot of people i'll demonstrate what it does because i've seen it so many times now where people will go over not pay attention and then you get grabbed I did not mean to go down, but you can see how fast that is, though, for going down. Um, that's a little awkward. I'll see you in a second. Okay, after that little uh, unexpected event, let's talk about our first point, which is the perks. Now, I ran fast worker and immune, mainly because there was a lot of crows and... At some points, you can't really UV them. Basically, what immune does is whenever you get hit, you don't get as slowed as what you normally get. I think it's like a 66% uh, decrease. Fast Worker is basically your go-to perk for really anything in this game, except for the Asylum. Because Asylum is the only map that you don't need long interactions for. But Fast Worker, Immune, you can use whatever combination. I just highly suggest using Fast Worker. That's my only thing. Uh, immune can be switched out for like what I have now, which is Powerful Insight if you want to look for batteries. But you have to be like pretty close. As you can see, I'm like this far away. So it's not like the best but it's also not the worst for nightmare speaking of batteries um someone in the devourer community will have to explain this but originally whenever i played i remember there only being like two battery spawns or you would have the one in your flashlight now in the manor there's four spawns in nightmare and then you have the one in your flashlight i don't know why but it helped me out a lot I highly suggest go hunting down all four or five technically of the batteries and putting them in this little spot right here. What I like doing for the strategy is keeping all the heads that are for these three bodies right here and then the two in the gazebo and then burying the first five in statue, the two at the very entrance and then the two in the front guarding near the crypt entrance because that way you can easily go from these three to the gazebo because they're really close together now you can do any combination of a 5-5 five five. it's just a 5-5 five five is a little bit easier than doing a 3-3-4 three three in my opinion even though in my normal guide video, I said to do a 3-3-4 three three because it was normal and how you can easily go from these three and then this one. But for Nightmare, because of whenever you get to six, she's a little bit more active than whenever she's at five, then you can easily just get these five and then get these five or get these five and then go wherever you want it or whatever you want to do in case you aren't as lucky and this happened to me i had to do the four that i normally do and then i had the bride in this little corner right here if you were doing the front five this little corner you can put a head no problem and the crows can't get it you can put two heads in this corner right at the entrance 
I wouldn't recommend it. I did it only because she was the final head, but if you're doing multiple heads in this corner, she might she might come out of the entrance and kill you whenever you go and get the second one. And then the front is just a gamble because there's a cross placement like right here and there's like two over here where the and then the back garden there's also like a lot of places where the crows can be in the gazebo you can put a head in this little corner right here but whenever you go to bury it just make sure you have full uv so you don't worry about if a crow gets ahead or not and i'll show you my burying so here you can see i'm placing the bride and i'm closing the door keep that in mind i'm closing the door oh that's another thing i forgot to mention so before this she got active and this is a little bit crucial because if you can pull it off take the risk of going whenever you stun her once whenever you bury the first five when you're ready to bury the last five, stun her once, then head immediately to the dead realm. After a few seconds, obviously, when you know she's out of uh, red eye state. But go into the dead realm and then stun her in here. She will take a little bit longer to go from the dead realm to the living. And then because of the doors being closed, she will take even longer to go from inside to outside and depending on where you are she will be clueless and you should have enough time to where you can easily bury your last five so i just want to mention that because uh i was talking about how she was in the dead realm uh while i was playing this so anyways here we go Again, keep in mind she is in the dead realm right now, so I was able to get these three heads. I also mentioned how if a head got stolen, I have enough UV. Like I said, whenever you go and bury, just make sure you use a UV because if By the time you get 9 out of 10, there's no point in trying to stun her because she's going to become a 3 stun and you will not have enough U UV for that. You can see me closing gates. Just make sure you close all the gates behind you. And before this last thing happens because if you're watching stream this was crazy have your flashlight off when you're burying and the reason for that is while i play this this happened to me and i got so lucky i don't know why but that was another reason why i said don't do two because you saw whenever she opened the door, the crow came out. There's no way. Oh my god. <laughs> As you can hear, my Yo, my reaction is no perfect so to it. Blind. That was crazy. If you have any questions on this guide, please put them in the comments. I will try and answer every single one. I'll leave you guys with some good luck on your next nightmare solo. Or nightmare co-op because these strategies do work in co-op it's just a little bit different because the stunning numbers uh get increased i don't know how much but if you want to see a co-op method then let me know because <laughs> i'll i'll be down to do it it's just it'll take me a little bit longer uh to get the numbers and then to get the footage and all that for you guys but hopefully you guys enjoy again if you are a little confused about this guide comment down below and i will see you all in the next video